as a comparator. Let's have a look at the circuit symbol. What we've got is we've got two inputs. We've got the inverting input given by the minus sign, and then we've got the non-inverting input given by the plus sign, and then we've got the output here. Also worth noting is the plus and minus 15 volt power supply that would normally connect this to. Now, in order to make circuit diagrams a bit simpler, we normally don't show those. Now, in this case, we've got no feedback on this one, so the output is going to saturate at plus and minus 13 volts. When's it going to saturate at plus 13 volts? Well, what we need is we need the voltage at the non-inverting input to be larger than the voltage at the inverting input. So it follows the sign of the larger of the two input voltages. And likewise, if the inverting input voltage is larger than the non-inverting input voltage, the output will be minus 13 volts, as we've got written here. So we'll look at a couple of examples. First of all, we identify the larger of the two voltages, and we see this at the non-inverting input with the plus sign, so it's going to be plus 13 volts at the output. Second example, looking at this one, we can see that 8.5 volts is larger than 8.2 volts. So that goes to the inverting input, it's got the minus sign there, so it's minus 13 volts at the output. Now we're going to look at this in much more detail. The op amp itself is a different amplifier. The output voltage will be equal to a very large number multiplied by the difference between the two input voltages. That's the non-inverting input, that's the inverting input. And A0 is called the open loop gain, so without any, any feedback in the system, that's the voltage gain that we've got. And typically it's going to be about 100,000 on there. So basically, because this is such a large number, the output's going to saturate at plus or minus 13 volts unless the two inputs are very, very close together. So how close then? Well, we can calculate this. So if we write down the equation again, we're going to use our method of rearranging the formula, and we're going to look at and see how close these two have got to be in order to just saturate. So if we colour the opposite corners, pink and yellow, we need to get rid of the A0, get that underneath there. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the numbers in. So when it's just saturated, V out is 13 volts. We put the open loop game, let's put 100,000 in there. And when we do this, we can find that the difference between the inputs that will make this saturate at the output is 130 microvolts.